Psalm 59 is another psalm where David is in a difficult situation and uh, you've got these uh, people that have been sort of sent to spy on him and so you can sort of picture him in, in a house but suspicious like not feeling secure the people around and they're outside and they're sort of threatening almost like a I don't know, like a gang of youths terrorizing somebody in a neighborhood, something like that. And so this is an interesting psalm to read. And I just want to uh, show you one little connection and maybe this can be helpful for you. So it begins, uh, deliver me from my enemies. Oh, my God, protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who work evil. Save me from bloodthirsty men for the they lie in wait for my life. Fierce men stir up strife against me. For no transgression or sin of mine, O Lord, for no fault of mine, they run and make ready. So this isn't David sinned and now he's kind of facing the consequences. This is David saying, look, I'm innocent, but I'm suffering. I'm, I'm really feeling the pressure of this situation. Like there's a sort of uh, almost like a conspiracy, a gathering of people around, whispering, commenting, threatening. And I'm I'm on the receiving end and I'm not enjoying it whatsoever. Further down, we've got this verse that gets repeated. And any time you get something repeated in a psalm, it's trying to draw your attention to it. But it was the repetition of this verse that made me notice another uh, kind of repetition. We had a load in the last psalm um, with the steadfast love and the faithfulness and the repeated words and so on. Here we've got a... a kind of a, a verse that gets repeated verse six each evening they come back howling like dogs and prowling about the city and then it goes on there they are bellowing with their mouths swords at their lips who they think will hear us so he's describing these threatening people but you O lord laugh at them you hold all the nations in derision so god's perspective like psalm two is to laugh at the you know, who do these people think they are to kind of set themselves up against God and God's plans? Here's the, the bit that, that stood out to me. Oh, my strength, I will watch for you. For you, O oh God, are my fortress. My God in his steadfast love will meet me. God will let me look in triumph on my enemies. It's interesting how the language of strength and enemies and fortress, such military language, is combined with God's steadfast love. Now, it's maybe not even uh, something to notice and flag, apart from the fact that it happens again in the rest of the psalm. So, verse 14, each evening they come back, howling like dogs and prowling about the city. They wander about for food and growl if they do not get their fill. But in contrast, I will sing of your strength. There's the strength word again. I will sing aloud of your steadfast love in the morning, for you have been a fortress and a refuge in the day of my distress. Interesting to see that, the connection between God being a fortress and God's character and his love, his steadfast love. In verse 17, oh, my strength, I will sing praises to you for you, O oh God, are my fortress, the God who shows me steadfast love. So we've got this strength, steadfast love, fortress, strength, fortress, steadfast love. These theme words kind of coalescing together. I think it's a beautiful thing to, to notice and therefore to ponder. Maybe it's this verse that kind of gets us thinking, oh, what's being repeated? Fair enough. But it's the connection between this and this that I really want us to think about. We've got steadfast love and faithfulness as the more common pairing and the deliberate pairing. Here, we've got steadfast love and God my fortress three times in the same psalm. As we face really challenging, difficult circumstances, we can feel secure, not because of circumstance, but because of the heart of God toward us. So please read Psalm 59 and see what else you notice. There's going to be other themes that connect and intersect with each other. But let that combination of God being our uh, fortress because of his steadfast love, God being the source of our strength, let that minister to your heart. And then think about who that might be a support to, an encouragement to, to share with them as well. See you next time.